starting with damp hair, I'm gonna pat my hair dry with my towel, and then I'm gonna brush my hair with my No Tangle hairbrush. Then I'm gonna begin blow drying my hair with my Kiss Tornado 360 hair blow dryer, uh, which has this little nozzle at the front. Now I'm normally not a huge fan of attachments, but this is an air booster uh, that spins and spreads the air around like a tornado. So actually it dries the hair faster and it prevents hot spots, which reduces heat damage. So you don't have to shake the dryer and overall your hair just dries a lot faster. So I'm gonna blow dry my hair about 85 to 95% of the way. The rest of my hair I'm gonna let dry naturally. I'm gonna put it back in a headband that I get at Target. I usually wear these to sleep or when applying makeup and I'm gonna do beachy waves at the end. So now I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever HD Foundation Primer, which I'm gonna apply this onto clean skin and this makes a huge difference in overall the application of your makeup and how your makeup stays throughout the day. Um, I'm not a big foundation wearer to be honest, but I love this Tinted Moisturizer by Laura Mercier. It's oil free. I use it mostly um, for light coverage, but also uh, because it has a sun protectant factor and it's oil free so it doesn't cause me to break out. Um, I absolutely love it. It just gives your skin a dewy look. Next I'm going to use my favorite concealer of all time, the Kevin Aquan Concealer. I use this as a highlighter, but I also use it as a concealer under my eyes and down my nose. And as always, I use my Beauty Blender to blend my foundation and my concealer. Next, I'm going to be using my MAC Paint Pot by Painterly as an eyelid primer because I am going to be applying some eyeshadow. Since I'm going out for a nighttime date on the beach, I'm going to do some dark eyes. When traveling, I love to travel with a Naked palette. I'm using the Naked Palette 2 by Urban Decay. And starting with this color Busted, just applying this all over my lid. Then at the bottom of my lid, I'm going to apply um, Half Baked. Um, and as you can see, this is a really nice, pretty color. Then I'm gonna use Foxy right under my brow. And this is gonna kinda give a nice um, golden goddess look, I guess. Then I'm gonna use the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner to do a little bit of a cat eye. Next, I'm gonna use this Chubby Crayon by NARS in this kind of black gold color. And I'm gonna apply this under my eyes to really smoke out my eyes because I don't want um, your stereotypical cat eye. Um, I want it to be a little bit more smoked into the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take this brush and just blend it all together um, and really smudge it out so that I have that nice smoky effect around my eyes. I'm gonna curl my lashes with my favorite eyelash curler by Shua Amura. Um, and I pretty much do this every single day. This just makes a huge difference in the way my eyelashes look. Then I'm gonna use my Size Queen Too Faced Mascara. I rarely ever use uh, falsies because I feel like with this kind of mascara, you really don't need it. This is such a good mascara and I usually put three or four coats. You can see the difference in the lashes. As soon as I'm done, they just really pop after using this mascara. I absolutely love it. Um, then next, I'm going to be using a bronzer. This Bahama Mama by The Balm is a great bronzer. It's actually a really dark bronzer, um, which I'm liking right now because it really gives um, my skin a look like I've been tanning even when I haven't. I apply my bronzer anywhere that the sun hits and also on the sides of my nose. Next, to mattify my nose and my chin, I'm gonna apply a little bit of this Jane Iredale powder. It's a really natural powder. It doesn't have some of those harsh ingredients that some other powders have in it. Um, and it never makes me break out, so I really love it. Um, then I'm gonna use NARS Blush um, on my cheeks. And this is the uh, Orgasm Blush, which gives the perfect blush look. It's one of my favorite blushes. 
Next, I'm gonna highlight with the Kevin Aquan SX02 and the NARS uh, Multiple and Copacabana. So starting with the Kevin Aquan SX02, I'm gonna apply that under my eyes. I know I already did it, but I like to apply it once I've applied all my makeup. Um, and as you can see, I'm gonna blend this in, really focusing on going upward, and it makes a huge difference on um, how my cheekbones look. It just really brings my cheekbones up. And that's the point of highlighting, is to really give that effect. So next I'm gonna use this uh, NARS Multiple in the color Copacabana, which is a pearl, to highlight down my nose and on the tops of my cheekbones, and you can see the pearl. Then I'm gonna use this Too Faced uh, Lip Liner. This is a nude and the Stila Lip Gloss. This is pretty much my go-to lip look. Um, sometimes I'll wear red, but my favorite lip is kind of like a nude, glossy lip. Um, and this is my go-to if I do wear uh, lipstick or lip gloss. So that completes the look. Now I'm gonna take out the headband, and I'm gonna brush my hair, and I'm gonna straight iron my uh, bangs because they're growing out and they really need to be flat iron. There's really no other way to get those looking good. <laughs> and then I'm gonna start curling my hair going outward with my curling iron. Um, and I'm just gonna do beachy waves. Now, I don't want curls, I want beachy waves. So I'm gonna do these waves quick. I'm not gonna keep them in my hair very long. And I'm going to uh, curl and brush and curl and brush and just keep going till I get the look that I want to achieve. And I find that curling my hair outward um, gives me the look that I like. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to curl my hair, and I pretty much, you know, I'll pull hair from the bottom. I just wanna get my hair all facing the same direction um, and then brush it out so that I have a nice loose wave. And since my hair is already kind of wavy, and that's partially why I only blow dried it about 85 to 95% of the way, it's gonna already have that wave in it, so you're not going for the real strict curl, you're going for that more loose, flowy wave look. So finally, I'm just going to give my hair one last zhuzh. As you can see, I've already gotten into my outfit for the night, and uh, I'm ready for date night. So we are here in Monterey filming Byron's show for Taste Made called Coastal. I'm wearing a maxi dress, just a simple black maxi dress, and this jacket from Daily Look. Keeping it simple because obviously I'm prego, so uh, comfortable and simple. And uh, yeah, we had a great night.